It's time to transform negative experiences into life-changing improvements. This is your fresh start. And welcome to A Fresh Start. I'm Ryan Thomas. This is all about giving you insights to rebuild the life that you want. Today we're talking about changing the story that you're telling yourself. And this is really important because when you come out of an emotional experience or you've really come through a lot of hardship or distress, you have a part of your life of things that have happened to you that you're trying to move on from, that you're trying to rebuild your life uh, sort of in the rubble of something really bad that's happened. And when that happens, when you're trying to come out of the ashes, so to speak, what you come to realize is that you've been telling yourself a story and a lot of it feels like it's rooted in truth and what really happened but you actually have to recognize that the story is outdated you need to tell yourself something different so a lot of times you'll find yourself saying I'm rejected, nobody wants me, I'm not lovable, I'm incapable of being loved, I'm damaged goods, uh, nobody wants me, uh, I'm useless, I have no influence, I don't know what to do, I have no direction, I have no idea what's going on. All of these things that we've habitually been telling ourselves and all of those things are negative. All that negative self-talk does nothing but take our self-confidence and our core of who we are and kind of strip it down, strip it down and degrade it. And that's never a good thing. But it's especially important when you're dealing with these emotional challenges and you're trying to go someplace different in your life you can change your surroundings, you can change the people that you're talking to, you can change a lot of different things, but if you don't change the one thing that is how you talk to yourself and the story that you're telling about yourself in the situation, then it's really all gonna be for nothing because it's the story that we tell ourselves that's most powerful. Those things that are really like insults that we tell ourselves, if we had a friend that was constantly beating us up with these words and calling us names and doing some of the things and saying some of the things that we say to ourselves, we would never want them in our life. We would banish them. We would tell them, I don't, with a friend like you, who needs enemies? Yet every single day, we're with ourselves and we say this stuff over and over, these negative things that reinforce this belief that, we're, that we're, we have no control that we are constantly being victimized. And I can understand where the emotion comes from, but when we look to solutions, we realize that has to change. So you have to start telling yourself a different story. The story that you have to tell yourself is, I am good enough. I am loving. I am lovable. I am on a course to find the solutions. I'm close to solutions. I'm making a difference. I'm making improvements. I'm getting better every day. I'm feeling stronger every day. I'm feeling hopeful. I am uh, hopeful. I'm happy. I'm productive. I have insights. I have knowledge. I have choices. I have decisions that I can make. Life isn't happening to you. Allow yourself to, to realize that you can actually control the course of your life. But it starts with, with your mindset. It starts by truly understanding that you and you alone have the most power and control over how you see yourself and the world. And so when we talk about this different story, you have to kind of get into a practice where you recognize these negative thoughts that you're saying and saying, okay, time out, this is an outdated story. This is what used to be me. This is what I used to deal with. This is what my experiences used to be. But this is a new life. This is a life that I'm controlling. I'm not allowing outside influences to, to control and change who I am. Now look, I'm not just saying this from on high. This is something that I struggle with every day. You know, when you have experiences that mar you, that, that, that scar you, that stay with you, it's hard to shake that off. It's sort of like we, we kind of incorporate that as our identity sometimes. We just take it as a part of who we are. You know, this is the part of me that's rejected. This is the part of me that's not lovable enough. This is the part of me that's, that's not attractive. Whatever that is, you kind of wear it around. 
And it's sort of like what, you know when you're in NASCAR and you see the NASCAR drivers and they've got the jumpsuit and they've got all the different patches of the sponsors. That's kind of sometimes how we wear our stories, our negativity. And for some reason, it's just easier to go into that negativity and believe that than it is to have the belief in ourself and being positive. And if you can start to recognize that out of everything that goes on in life and all the things that you can control and that you can't control, can't control other people, you can't control circumstances, you can't control outside universal influences, the only thing that you really have true control over is yourself and your mindset and your self-belief. And if you can recognize that and say, man, this is the most sacred thing I have, empower yourself to understand that you actually have this ability to control these aspects in a, in a, in a sea, in a world of craziness that everything wants to kind of get at you, you know, like, like taking little bites of you as you go along in life. Just don't accept that. Realize, yeah, that's going to happen. It happens to everybody. But what doesn't happen to everybody is to build this belief and create a mantra for yourself. Whatever those negative things are, replace them with positive things. You can't just simply stop doing and saying these negative things. You have to replace it. Your brain needs something to replace it with. So find a mantra. You know, if you're dealing with, with, uh, with, with sickness, with stress and anxiety, tell yourself, I am healing. I am getting stronger every day. I am mending. If you're somebody who is, feels like you're in, you know, in, in kind of in uh, no man's land, you don't have direction, you don't know what to do, don't keep saying that to yourself. Keep selling, telling yourself, I'm closer to a solution. I'm making progress. I have direction. I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling confident. If you have something where you're constantly being rejected and saying you're not good enough, you're not worthy, you create a mantra for yourself that says, I am capable of being loved and I am a loving person. I am a loving person that spreads nothing but love and joy and I accept myself. I truly accept who I am at this time and the journey that I'm on. And I'm making progress. I'm happy. I'm thriving. I'm growing. I'm evolving. But we just don't put those types of words into our heads. Now I'm going to continue to share insights when we come back on how to change your story and the huge impact it'll make. Stay with us. We'll be right back on a fresh start. Do you wish you could understand your alienated child better and how they think? Alienated children are like puppets on a string. In my book, The Alienated Mind, I give a complete breakdown of how the parent is stripped of all influence and completely dehumanized in the mind of the child, and how the alienator can transform a loving child into someone who says and does hurtful, awful things. And I would know because I was that child. Understanding your alienated child better will help you reach them. The Alienated Mind, a new book and audiobook available now. And welcome back to A Fresh Start. I'm Ryan Thomas. Today we're talking about how to change your story. Getting rid of this old negative mantra that you're constantly feeding and telling yourself and actually replace it with something positive. Actually replacing it with something that's going to help and nourish you, not hold you back and drag you down. So if you can do that and if you can actually acknowledge the fact that you control the story that you tell yourself, it doesn't matter what other people think of you. Other people are always going to be trying to put their stuff on you. Uh, and a lot of time I call that the impact zone where you can just tell that somebody else who's got a negative story, well, they see everything negative and they want everything to be negative. Misery loves company, right? And so you're walking in there and they're rah, 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 and it starts affecting you. It drags you in. It sucks you in. And then that pairs with your stories. Oh, see, this always happens to me. This is something where you can actually say, I don't have to accept it. I don't have to be in your impact zone. I'm in it right now. I'm going to step back because I'm not staying here because I'm doing my own thing. I've got my own dreams, my own goals, my own life that I'm coming. I came through all of this stuff, all of these negative things. And yes, I felt really bad and really crappy. And sometimes I still do, right? 
but I'm not going to let it be who I am. I'm going to rise above it. I'm going to focus on telling myself a different story, a positive story, and nothing you can do can touch it. And again, keep believing, keep saying it over and over until you actually believe it. You know, sometimes we have to have that repetitive nature that's showing us, hey, yeah, this is, I'm above this. I can get beyond this. I'm stronger than this. Eventually, you will be stronger than this. It's going to take a little time. It sometimes does. But that self-belief has to be, it's a process. So look at it as a process that you need uh, to recapture your life and, again, to create that new beginning, to reboot your life. And I think that that, when you start changing your story, how you see the world changes, how the world sees you changes, changes, and the ultimate goals of your life begin to evolve and change around what you want, not what other people think that you should have. So I hope this insight helps. Uh, again, I'm Ryan Thomas for A Fresh Start, and I'll see you soon. Are you ready to take massive action and create your own step-by-step -step action plan to reconnect with your alienated child? You might be interested in checking out my five-week online video training program, The Reconnect Formula. Discover what to say, what not to say, how to use email and text to communicate better, and how to use social media to influence your child even if you've been blocked. This is the culmination of my experiences as an alienated child who reunited to help you build the relationship with your child again and get one step closer to reconnecting. So go ahead, check out my five-week online video training program, The Reconnect Formula.